Welcome to Horror Movies with TNA. Each episode, we're going to pick a film, talk about it, and rate it. Word of warning, there will be spoilers. This week, we're talking about... Adapted from the short novel, The Visible Filth, wounds this 2019 Babak and Vari film that some have described as available on Netflix. Watch as a man's life unravels and supernatural forces are hell-bent on crapping his day right up. Books, phone calls, paranoia. All right there. Well, I've got like, maybe just the way I was watching it. Uh, depression, madness, alcoholism. This is, it's based on a book, isn't it? Uh, I think uh, it's a short story. So this is 2019 Netflix, made for Netflix, was it? I think, I think it says a Netflix film. Yeah, but I think it's um, via another company as well. How oh, is it? Yeah. From is it Annapura or something? Um, yeah. To be honest, I haven't heard of it. What other things has the director done? Babak and Vari. I probably, oh, yeah, probably, probably got that really right, wrong. Right, right, yeah. Um, but I'm saying it phonetically. <laughs> but uh, he also did Under the Shadow. Which, we are not not spoilers, but we haven't watched. But it's meant to be a hell of a lot better than this film. <laughs> but I thought it sounded quite interesting. And I think I've seen a YouTube thing about saying it's underrated. Um, <laughs> yeah, well. Maybe. I'm, I'm just trying to wonder how that low of, <laughs> that had been rated. I don't know. Um, well, anyway, it depends. Right, do you want to Should we say what the main story is? There's not much of a story, to be honest. No, I mean, I suppose the main... The, ca- the main protagonist, the character's Will, who is a barman. Yeah, he's played by be... Army Hammer. Yes, Army Hammer. He was Army good. Joe he Hammer. was good in. Um, it's toothpaste, isn't it, Army Hammer? Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, he was good in not the Lone Ranger, which I still haven't watched. Um, he was good in what's the uh, the Facebook film? Oh, sit there, friend, friend. Social, <laughs> <laughs> social network where he played twins. And again, not Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, Where were we? We were talking about Will who works in Rose's, the bar. He seems quite an aimless character because he just spends his day literally just getting pissed all day. Actually, it sounded like... It seemed like quite a nice existence. Yeah. Well, it, to be honest... It's, sit, sit in the park. It's a weird film because it follows him doing these mundane things quite a bit. Yes. And that's a problem I've got with the film as well. Because... I've got one main bit, which <laughs> was quite early on. But well, then you've got a problem with... Well, that's mentioned... So, the Dakota Johnson, isn't it? Dakota Who Fanny. plays Carrie, who plays his yeah, girlfriend. Which, yeah, which all Their she has to do is... Their relationship seems fucking awful. Well, I not. think that's... The whole idea is there's there's nothing happening in his entire life. Yes. It has a quote at the beginning, doesn't it? From Joseph Conrad, yeah. I, Arts of heart, Darkness. From Arts of Darkness. Arts of Darkness. Arts. Arts. Um, About being hollow. There's some regulars. Actually, the, the, some of the regulars were, the, I thought, were the most... With the characters I like the most in the film, really. I wasn't that keen on any of the main people in it. But no, that other, I liked Eric. There's the other, the other lady. The, Alicia, which is the girl out of Deadpool 2. Yeah. Who played who's, Domino. Her name's Zazie Beats. She's got a great name. It is quite good. Um, and then the only other bloke, which is really important for the end, is that uh, Eric, Eric. Who lives above the bar. I liked him. But again, he, his... you meet him and he's throwing his nuts up outside the bar. And then he walks back in to carry on drinking to meet his mates. So it's it really the, the whole thing kicks off on one evening, doesn't it? Where yeah. Alicia and her boyfriend Jeffrey are in the bar. Will's there, and he's entertaining them at the bar. Eric comes in quite drunk, and he I think he has some kind of he has a few conversations. But then his friends come in, and they start playing pool. Ah, well, this is the bit that annoyed me is when it when you first are in Roses. Mary's the best character, the woman playing Paul naked. Completely oh, yeah. naked. Yeah, but you don't really see it. You kind well, of. Well, <laughs> no, well, the bit that annoyed me most was I was just going to. I was hoping that they just weren't going to explain anything and she was just going to be in the background. But I think he went on to say, if you get your clothes off, you get free drinks or not. But I just kind of yeah, wanted her to be in the background. It pan across and there'd be a naked woman. Yeah, but that was quite good because he just said, yeah, if you. Yeah. 
Which, but the, she was the only one playing pool by herself. Yes, naked, she, which she, was yeah, she was on her own in there playing pool. Totally Mary's naked. the best. Yeah. All I wrote when I was making notes is I just put Mary is the best person in the whole film. <laughs> <laughs> is that because she's naked playing pool? No, it's just the fact that it was just completely. I thought it was completely random. But even and Eric, I didn't think they were going to mention it again. But because well, I, I, I sort of and the bit when Eric comes in afterwards, he, go, he goes. All right, Mary. Yeah, like it's like it's really comic, like she's in there like that every night yeah. kind of thing. Anyway, so his fucking idiot, though, well, they seem like fucking idiot mates come in. Well, actually, these students come in. Yeah. Which is that, kind of where it all kicks off because they're the ones. This yeah, it's whole a bit thing strange, but you don't there. see them again, but they're, they're the ones that are the one. I don't, again. Well, aren't, aren't they the ones that are following, following Will a, a bit as well, aren't they? Then there's this altercation between pissed up Eric and his pissed up mate, mates that's the bit that's quite rough because Eric gets a yeah, broken bottle in his face yeah yeah he's sort of got him in a headlock and then these mate who's got him in a headlock just smashes a bottle and then decides to stab him in the face yeah which is a very important bit you don't realise until yeah right at the end um, <laughs> so he's yeah he's got a face on it's obviously something they do quite often because they're not that bothered again they're like aimless and, and I think Eric well. and, he, and one of the guys he's fought with has got a fucked up arm and he's kind of like he staggers out afterwards but there was one bit I noticed that there was no music in the film not that I remember any music no I don't remember any soundtrack or anything really just loads of noises and generally if you've got tinnitus or something it's painful because yeah, it's like lots, lots of, of kind of high pitch sort of droning the bit when the kid comes in which you think He's just looking at him and going, the oh, you 21, yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah. Because you 21, it, that's the first time because it's like... Yeah, yeah, he's got a face on. Like, like, the, like a interference down a phone kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, or just like a drone or a rumble in the background. But you think, without that, you just think, oh, he's just asking him 21. It could even be a comic bit. But you do think, why yeah. is it putting this ominous, weird yes, noise on? at that point, you don't realise that they kind of play a... That's a key bit in the film, I suppose, mm-hmm. them turning on. So there's this bar fight, Eric gets a hole in his face, they all kind of stumble off. Will just kind of threatened to call the police, but he doesn't. The, the students say, are you going to call the police or have you called the police? And he goes, uh, yeah, I'm going to. And he goes, and he just goes, let's all go quick. Yeah, so the students all run out. They're the first ones to go as yes. well. And they leave, and another key bit is obviously they then leave their phone as well. So the next thing, so he, he's tidying up, and they find this phone, and he goes home. Um, again, not okay. a lot happens because it, it's not the fastest film. To be honest, generally the whole tone is a film. It's I put it's a horror film question mark because it's it's not arty, but, but it, it's it's, it, it's, it's it, quite slow and depressing. It's one of them like slow and and it and it and there's like bits where there's lots of kind of bugs, loads of cockroaches, loads and loads later on. Um, and it's, there's just kind of paranoia. I don't know, he, he has a sense... Well, I suppose later on he has It's a not sense a happy game. film. I mean, I watched it on a Sunday night just before work, so it wasn't the best choice. Yeah, it's best time made. to watch it. That'll keep you going. But there's a couple of jumpy bits in it, but generally there's nothing... No, I just think there's kind of like an, an unease about it, and I kind of suppose that translates to the experience of watching it, doesn't it? Because you kind of like... Constantly, he's kind of thinking he's hearing things and he's kind of he thinks there's a presence yeah. in his apartment and there's things like that constantly and there's the bugs I think one of the jump bits is where he opens a, a cupboard and a bug flies oh, out that, that's him. probably the most jumpy bit to <laughs> yeah. be honest yeah so, but um, um, go on no you can't <laughs> um, well I'm going to say I'm just going to explain a bit of the plot because it because we've only gone from the bar that, but the most like I say the exciting bits of few and far between on this um and it is a criticism. I know it's meant to be slow and methodical, and but the bits when it's scary and it's slow, I have no problem with it. The bits where he's just dossing around, like you say, he goes to the park, he does this. There's meant, and you can kind of see there is people in the background, and you kind of see that stuff's going off, and it's meant to be slow. But so, you know, it get on with it. I was thinking, and I don't mind slow films, but it was only about an hour and a half, and I was thinking, Jesus H. But, I'm not going to say what happens at the end just yet. Spoilers, by the way. It does, I think it ends incredibly suddenly. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, right. Yeah. There's a lot to, to take um, in on that bit. He goes home, takes the phone, 
he goes over to Carrie, she's in bed, and he, he sits up with a phone, he grabs a beer as well. Like I said, he seems to be constantly taking beer out of a fridge and having a drink at any time of the day. I mean, Carrie's a student, we get the feeling he used to be at university or yeah, college Yeah, there's or a bit right at the beginning. So I think there's a bit of... He, I think he, he did a proper seems, degree or something. Yes, and he almost seems fucking resentful because he spent, she's spending a lot of time writing papers everybody's writing a fucking paper. Well, yeah, it makes a snide something. comment about... Yeah. Um, I don't call it... So the dynamic call it of, or whatever, but it's well, something, doesn't it? Yeah, and the, the dynamic of their relationship is that she seems... He, he does nothing to... She seems really distrustful of him, and he seems to do fucking nothing <laughs> to allay any of that. He seems to be quite secretive, so he just kind of fosters that. Well, obviously, and, he's been... The other thing is he was... Oh, and he's got the hots for Alicia as well. Well, yeah, but I don't know whether something was going off there anyway. Yeah, well, she... And he Ali- was going out yes. with Carrie. So the Alicia, the, the girl we mentioned at the beginning, she's kind of like a regular in the bar, and they do seem to have... There's a bit of, I don't know... But he's getting jealous now because she's found uh, a new Jeffrey. boyfriend, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey. So he goes home and he, he manages, with the phone, and he's quite pleased with himself for this, he manages to unlock it, and then from that point forward... He's then constantly being sent messages and a bit later on he finds these kind of photos. Yeah, when he gets a bit bored he starts to have a look through them. But yeah, he sort of gets texts. And I, I did, I'd be honest, I can't quite remember. He's just like... Well, there's, it, I, there's mention of, I think, I think some, one of them was, of the initial text is, he gets some strange text through. One of them says, I think something's here with me. And something to do with messing with the books, which we find out is this translation of wounds, these volumes of books, and something about a tunnel, which again is a constant theme throughout yeah. the film about this tunnel. So he's getting these kind of mysterious texts, which he, he uh, keep coming through, and I think after a bit he's getting a bit annoyed by this, and he doesn't really understand it. Like I say, he gets some photos through, which are a bit, which escalates the tension even more. Then, and then it really skips to the following day, and he he rings up. I just put for fuck's sake, he rings up. Alicia at 10 o'clock in the morning and says he's oh, yeah, coming for a beer, beer again. Because yeah. it's Cause obviously it, what they used to do. Because right? um, his girlfriend's gone off to uh, college for the day. So he's at he's a got nothing to do. Yeah, yeah, until he's working the following night at Rose's. So he tries to convince her to come and meet him. I think he ends up seeing her anyway. Um, and then he's asked to go round and see our mate Eric, who's um, yeah, is going who's look fucked after up, him? fucked up face. Yeah, he's got a face hole. Yeah, so, you see what a cesspit he, he lives in, and he's just lying on the bed with a massive grey gash on his face still. And a massive grey racist flag on the wall as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> Which a Confederate is, flag there. Okay. Um, but he checks on Eric. Eric's face is fucked up. And I think Eric asks him to stay with him. Yeah, stay with st- me stay because of the me. nightmares. Yeah. To watch him. So he sits and watches him. Nice. Whilst Will's driving around, because he, he goes off again and he's driving around and he's constantly being followed... Yeah, because you think he's going probably after the phone or something. Then he goes home and plays Bullet Storm. Yes, yeah, so I wrote that down. It's a good game. Good game. Well, every, I mean, if I was a, like a guy with um, so I do all, day. all that time on my hands. Well, no, I'd, I'd do that. Well, you know what you else I'd do? And then I'd uh, get drunk all at yeah. the same time. <laughs> what a mess. Bullet, bullet Storm. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be Bullet Storm everywhere. Uh, <laughs> um, he then opens up the phone again and starts looking and he finds these photos do you want to explain what's, what's on the photo this is the best bit in the entire film in a way this makes the, everything after it bearable to watch because if it had carried on I'd have almost gone for this so let me explain scrolls through the phone which is always dodgy, especially with someone else's phone. You think, oh, shit. You don't know what you're going to find, yeah. You have no idea. So you're already on edge thinking, and you already know this is meant to be an horror film. Something He's going to see something. So you're already a bit... Well, she sees something first, actually. So Sorry, rewound a bit. She starts sees a puddle of blood and teeth, which he hasn't seen, a text message he gets. Yeah, so they, um, so they look at the phone, and then there's, yeah, like you say, there's a photo with um, teeth, in a pool of blood. Yeah, and she finds that before him. But then he's not interested to look through the photos until he's had a bit of game on the bullet store. And then so he scrolls through and he sees bloke lying down with all his head smashed in, but you don't quite see it on the phone. And yeah. then you, the next one he scrolls to and, it, and his head's cut off, cut off on a table. Yeah, top half of the head's cut off. 
Yeah, well, no. And then we see a different head, don't yeah, we? Yeah, well, it's the same, I think it's the same head, but they've peeled back the skin. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And so it's just like his skulls, which again, you think, fucking hell, this is too good. And it's a video, and that's when I was on edge. I thought, shit. So you think it's cut off head, and you go, oh, shit. And then he goes, scrolls it again, and you go, oh, my God. It's the same head, now they've peeled the skin off, and it's a video. <laughs> yes. So there was that, just a, a slight pause... And then he obviously pressed play. That be honest, probably this gets one and a half stars or whatever more. For this bit alone, for, for, purely on this one bit, it because it's so yeah and, weird and out and, of place with the rest of it, really. And then the and the head starts shuffling along the table. Yeah. And then there's a hole in the skull, and just well, before it cuts off, a hand comes out of the hole in the skull. Yeah, and it just makes a massive scream, which is probably the big. Jumpy well, bit. yeah, there's a bit of there's a bit of the I, I believe to be the students talking in the background well, yeah, and going in that and, they, as and well, they've all, they? yeah and they're, and they're that's kind what makes of it a bit horrible. It well. sounds like they've done some kind. Of, I I didn't really understand that they've done some kind of ritual or they've, they've done something that, from these books. Yeah, the these translation right. of wounds. And he goes, look at the cockroaches. So they got what else happened? So this head starts shuffling around a bit. Again, we're probably not. You've got to see. They may have missed key bits, but but yeah. it starts shuffling around with its head. And it's got a bit of a hole in its head. But then all these cockroaches start clamouring around it. And you start thinking, what the fuck is going on? Weird bit is because you can hear them sort of giggling and then going, have we done it right? Oh, shit, yeah, it's moving. And then it's sort of, like I say, there's like a crack or a hole in its head. You don't, you just, you think that's a bit grim. But then, like you say, it's a little pink hand on it. And then he he drops a phone and it makes a big squealing noise, like feedback on a... Yes, more feedback. Yeah. Oh, best then, bit. I've not then, made it sound the best bit. So <laughs> Will drops the phone and kind of is shocked. And then Carrie walks in and kind of asks him, what are you well, looking yeah. at? What, what's wrong? Yeah. because and, and, and that's when he kind over, of, instead it? of just going, there's some bad shit on this. You can look at it if you want, but it's horrible. He kind of just acts really suspicious, which kind of makes her even more kind of suspicious yeah, anyway. It's again, just weird. And, and it goes on. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, five and minutes that bit, talking about bullshit. It focuses on that conversation way too much instead of the good bits, which it should be focusing on. But she does have a quick look. She spots the book that she zooms in on, which is the translation of mm. wounds, which is the text that... That's the first time you kind of see the name yeah. of those books. But then that that's never built on the as well really it's just she just leaves it so like you need you to said, take it to the police in, in the short story the, the visible filth maybe it elaborates on what the back yeah I, or maybe it don't how well this is translated from that or adapted from the book i don't know but dakota johnson yeah who, i put like, dakota fan in at first because i've got the wrong name we won't go into it because we might review it at some point um she was obviously in the remake of suspiria and she was in a really good film family film though oh Peanut Butter Falcon. So if you're going to watch a film with the family, heard of that. yeah, Shia LaBeouf. Is that how you say his name? Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, probably. And Dakota Johnson help a Down syndrome kid to go oh, and meet called? his wrestler. I've heard of it, but I've not heard. Really it's called good that. film. Okay. So, a bit off Peace. topic. But, you can't, you can't but talk anyway, about. yes. So I recommend. Okay, that. so we talked about the best bit. The video on the phone. I thought you meant Mary playing Paul. <laughs> well, yeah, so. Um, the, the, uh, no, this no, is no, the he's bit... at home, he gets a phone call and it makes a big ringing noise oh. and he goes like, he has to throw it away. Oh, yes, that's where, and he's holding his ear. Like, I thought there was going to, something like, a bug was going to come out of his ear or something. Mm. Big bug. <laughs> no big bug. I love bugs. Um, he's driving along no anyway phone. and he gets a text through saying, uh, you've been chosen. And then the phone in his hand turns into a bug. Turns into did, lots did of cockroaches. Think, did you think he That's is? Was shit. Did you think <laughs> his a reaction to that was a bit over the top when he started rolling around on the floor? I, 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 and, yeah, and, and miraculously, could have caught 150 that people bill. suddenly turned up taking photos of him on their phones. Was that a? Um, a is that, was that meant to be a? A. It was a load of bollocks. A, to be honest, that, big that bit. This is where I can say it. There's not much good between. There's I, not I, much good. There's not no. There, there's very <laughs> well. There's there's very little that's any good between the video on the phone. There's a lot of throwaway. the end. Yeah, there's a lot of throwaway scenes where you kind of think they dragged out the wrong bits. I think that's for me. And that, like I said, the reaction for him having a few cockroaches up his arm. He take 
takes his shirt off and then he's rolling around. He, sh- on he throws the floor. a phone out as well. See, so that's he, him done with the, a phone. Was the phone like a big bug as well? It looked I don't like think a big was... squishy thing. I don't know. He, he went... throws it out the window, doesn't he? Yeah, and then uh, while he's rolling around, they obviously, the kids, students, come and take it and run off with it. Yeah, so they've took the phone back, but it's almost like they've now passed the, the whole thing on to Will. Um, back to Rose's. Will's beyond the bar again, and he says to Alicia, who turns up, what's shaking bacon? And I like that. What's shaking bacon? <laughs> Does that get an extra star for that? It's a fucking loot leak. <laughs> I've got to admit, I, I struggle until the end to really record, other than the, big, the tunnel bit. I mean, basically... Will's behind the bar and Alicia comes in and Will ends up trying it on with Alicia and he's been a fucking douche and then she storms off. So he goes home and Carrie's sat um, watching the laptop, watching the this reoccurring tunnel theme. She's sat staring at this yeah, kind Carrie of... Yeah, is just constantly watching yes. him. She's she, con- she's she up, yeah, yeah, she's obviously herself. been sat That's there, transfixed a long time because, as Tony says... She wheezes herself, <laughs> um, but he. I know the only he thing doesn't that seem too bothered, really. He just sort of well, goes, he, "Oh, this is not well, good, no, is it? it?" He kind of walks in the room, sees that she's staring oh, yeah. at the screen, and he just he just walks off. He doesn't like close the laptop to <laughs> no. stop her. He just fucks off again. <laughs> it's yeah, it's not. It. I mean, I guess the whole idea is maybe is you know stupor of drunkenness, and it's some of it or or all of it could be in his head. Are you? question well, well, some of it I don't know straight after that he walks past Carrie fucking ignores her goes into the kitchen and that's what? when Garrett's sat with his back to Will so kind of Will says what the fuck are you doing in here Garrett sat there and he spits all his teeth out onto the table and then there's and, and he's got it, a bulgy head which I didn't notice until my second view and, 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 <laughs> no his head keeps pulsing because it was going it's oh, going Will, Will's or but Garrett's as oh, he's sitting there talking, oh, okay, his head's okay. doing that. Well, it, and, and it gets, and what gets said, there was a ritual, we opened a portal, it possessed us, or something possessed us, so that gives you a bit of an idea of where this is heading, if you care. I, I don't, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's best not to think of a backstory, because it, I was saying it, it would be better if it didn't say all this backstory about it being about the Book of Wounds or whatever. It, it just kept it at, Weird videos that these kids were doing and suddenly a hand's popping out of head. I don't really need... It doesn't help well, the no, film no, well, that they've I got think, a backstory. I think the problem like. with that is, as well, they introduced these three volumes of books, Translation of Wounds. They didn't explain anything about it. So that finished. Bother. Whether yeah. the book explained anymore, the actual not, the, the book this was based that on. That might be where so, he did it. It varies from, like, really good bits to fucking terrible books. Bits this film, it, it's quite so uneven, it, is one way of putting it. We'll, we'll mention this bit as well because throughout, Will's constantly scratching his armpit, and then he, he at this point he goes in the shower and a uh, bug comes out of his armpit. He's con- Does it? Yeah, uh, I know he puts whole, his fingers in yes, it, and then he just, scrapes just it before it cuts away. It, it looks like a bug comes oh, out right, of it, and then I wasn't it sure. kind of, and then you don't know whether it was a nightmare. I wasn't sure whether it was like another hand coming out or something. And but then, then but that's it. He's not got. He doesn't yeah, scratch his feet again. Does, and the armpit, yeah, it's really weird. But you, you kind of. It's weird in a shit way, but not a good way. <laughs> is what you're saying. <laughs> I'm wondering whether my limited intelligence hasn't picked on some key bits. Uh, I, I do. I, I haven't got. I mean, there's a bit. She then Carrie, Carrie and him have a, another kind of weird conversation where she says, "You're." She said, and you don't know whether at this point she's kind of possessed or just being normal and just saying he's a fucking idiot. She says, normal on the outside, but on the inside, worms. I just thought, fuck you. Is this Carrie. when he's told her, fuck off, though? When uh, he said he's packed no, her actually, in, I, I, I don't know. This isn't that bit yet. So oh, they have right. this strange conversation again. And then he goes on the laptop and looks and has a look at this tunnel bit. And then he starts reading up on this translation of wounds volumes. There's a. a a certain bit in it that he, he it kind of focuses on, which is use of a wound to transcend physical boundaries. Again, maybe that's trying to explain it. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, now you can see, I mean, I don't even remember that bit because obviously this is a bit... Well, we're about, about an hour in, you know, now. In, yeah, in the film. It felt and then we, we go back to fucking Roses, Will's behind the bar, Alicia comes in with Jeffrey, and Jeffrey's 
obviously knows that Will tried it on. Yeah. The bit of a relationship thing. Again, Jeffrey's annoyed and they have to throw him out. Goes nowhere that bit, doesn't Although, it? Then? Essentially at this point, Will's acting quite erratic and you kind of you can tell that he's having a fucking paranoid kind of episode and, and you also wherever he goes generally mainly in the bar though but because he's mainly in there there's little he, cockroaches start yes. appearing everywhere though you see them well early on right at the beginning yeah actually. even before any of the this phone, happened you already yeah. see the cockroaches so you don't know whether he's, he, his mind's seeing more of these and you keep seeing like a monkey eye as well like a it, it keeps flashing up as a he keeps seeing like a an eye keeps coming up yeah there's, the a, there's an eye like a flashy it shows eye. the there's, I would say there's some Liminal, but they're too slow for that. You see the tunnel bit every now and then. Keep, keep seeing. It flashes to the head once again, I think, to no real effect other than to make you wake up. I'm, t- I'm probably slagging it off. So <laughs> Will's um, kind of having a bit of an episode, and then he gets a phone call off Carrie. Actually, this is when he gets home and she's pissed herself watching the laptop. Yeah. She texts him, and then there's a photo she sends of what looks like somebody in their bedroom sat on the bed. There's like oh, yeah, a yeah, blurred yeah. Car- figure. Yeah, but he so loves it, doesn't Hence he? the reason he kind of, for some reason, jumps over the bar. Quite dramatic. Action packed it is. Yeah. Jumps over the bar and runs out. Um, he, yeah, and he gets home, and he picks Carrie up and puts her in the bath, and she's kind of like, the bath goes... Brown, doesn't it? Or black, something. Brown or bloody... Black. I, I, I'm not sure... It's sort of, she sort of disappears into yeah. into the into a brown muck and sinks in there, and then he picks and he just and watches it the and then pulls out. But you don't know again if she's she was just pissed or either drowning or whatever. That's that bit is not that good either, really. Because I thought, where's he going to go with if if she's if something else happened then? But he, she just I sort of wakes that, up I, and doesn't go, "What the hell are you doing?" She just the goes, actress oh, right. Dakota Johnson, as I've said in a few of the films, she's quite good. But in this, I don't know if it's the part she's playing, but she just seems like catatonic. Yeah, she seems yeah. like maybe that's what she's meant to be. Like she's well, like, like she's constantly either drugged or pissed or well, is it? Or maybe she just doesn't want to be with him. Yeah, well, it might be. She just like coasting, but it may be also that. She was only in a few scenes and didn't get much money, I don't know. Is it the next day where he splits up with her? I apologise. Yes, so he... Um, because that that's the weirdest bit, really, because she just goes, oh, all right then. Yeah, but I think... I think I kind of <laughs> and like... And then she gets upset. I like that, yeah. I, li- I kind of like the way she reacted to that, because she kind of said, what the fucking ever, because she probably wanted to get out of it as well. Yeah. And then he's annoyed that she's not annoyed, and then by being annoyed, she becomes annoyed. <laughs> They're all annoyed. I know. Um, we're back at Rosie's again. This is about an hour and twenty in, and Will he then quits falls out with Rosie. Yeah, manages first to time get... you meet Rosie as well. Yeah, but I mean, again, seems all right. What as a boss? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I liked Rosie. I mean, he just falls out with her, doesn't he? Will's yeah. having a shitter basically, isn't he? He's having a bad. I old mean, this time. is really near the end now, isn't it? Cause well, yeah, because of... then he, he goes upstairs and he checks on Eric. Yeah, because Eric lives above the bar, and someone so... says someone hasn't checked on him for a while but he says that earlier on but then he's just what sitting makes, there well, yeah, he's, he's sitting actually. on the steps leading up to Eric's uh, and then uh, he realises to go upstairs yeah and then he kind of thinks Fuck maybe it, it dawns on him to go and check on Eric so he goes upstairs and so it, he goes in there and it's a complete shithole but at this point still because this it suddenly changes at the end and there's probably only another like 10 minutes he, but he's still kind of normal he's down, he still will He's a bit of an arsehole, a bit pissed he's up a all the time. Day. Well, da, da, but, no, totally normal-ish. Well, the thing is, as well, because he's been kind of constantly pissed throughout the film as well, you don't know whether he's just acting erratically because he's... Yeah. So you're not quite clear what's happening But he's to not him. done anything weird. But you know weird. it's kind of not normal. Yeah. yeah. My mate Eric's lying on the bed. Um, Mary wanders past. <laughs> she, she don't. That'd be good, though, uh, wouldn't it? Out the way, window, waving. And he walks up and kind of asks him. Well, first of all, he asks him if he can stay there, and Eric says, "No, you fucking can't." But he kind of he, he decides he's going to stay there anyway, and goes and gets a beer from the fridge. Yeah, cheeky fucker. And then he goes back in and talks to Eric, and Eric says to him, "They told me to give you something." And he and he opens a drawer and gives Will the phone back. And I think there's a text I think it's a text message that talks about oh, we left about, a present for we've you we've left a present covered in flesh and then he looks over Eric 
before that, he does ring up Alicia. Like, I'm it's the final of, bit before of, he goes yeah, off. Yeah, I thought, this. fucking hell, Will. He rings her up and says, oh, I've, I've finished with Carrie, as if, like, come on, Alicia, you're all right now. And she says, no, I'm Get all right. fucked. I'm with yeah. Jeffrey, yeah, but and that's so, what, and so he gets a bottle of whiskey and then Dan's it. Uh, and then, like, yes, you, what you've yes. said happens. So you kind of... So you yeah. can see con- it is a sudden His downturn. His collapsing because he's got nowhere to live. But he's got still no just job, a piss out Got no moment. girlfriend. And Alicia's turning him down as well. And, and then he's been given this present, which is wrapped in flesh, which is basically Eric's whatever's big inside. Fucking so Eric. Eric's still got this big black wound on his... Right it's cheek? On his right, right it's cheek. on his right cheek. So he's sitting next to him on the bed. And then... So I'm going... Somebody says something about I'm going to open my present. In other words, I'm going to open up Eric. Because he said normally they have to be dead or something like that. So he said, what would happen if I call them now? And then that's when all the cockroaches yeah. crawl up the walls. Not quite like Creepshow, because obviously that's a very clean place in the Creepshow, whereas yeah. this is a fucking yeah, bomb it's hard site. To tell. So like, yeah, that goes yeah. on for a bit. And you think, oh... I kind of like the idea that the cockroaches were like starting to cover the camera so you couldn't quite see what was happening. I thought that was quite, yeah, quite, uh, quite different. Like I could say, this is the second best bit in it, but no, still no, not as good as the video. But The only problem I've got with it is, like I say, he goes from, yeah, pissed up, annoyed, depressed, and he's kind of that all the way through. And I get it, guess that he's gone in a massive downward spiral. Yeah, but he all of a sudden he, seems really manical, doesn't he? He's like yeah, he's yeah. gone mental, like, and he understands what's going on. He yeah. goes, what would happen if I called him now? I'm, I'm going to open my present, which is your face, Eric, mate. <laughs> and he just like pushes him down at one I point as well. <laughs> so, and um, there's cockroach, cockroaches on the, the screen to kind of obscure what you're seeing. Yeah, so he's like... But he's got a tunnel, he's got a hole in his face. face yeah, and then it's similar to the appears. tunnel, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a face hole. But you don't quite see it. You only see it from the side. But the, the, all these cockroaches, loads and loads, goes on for a bit. But it, the, he says something, doesn't he? His voice suddenly gets all possessed and changes. Wills does. So this is a bit where I think he gets a bit poncy and goes all the way back to the thing about being hollow at the beginning. Oh, uh, well, yeah, they're, they're goes, like vessels, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, he goes, she, she says that as well. You're he a goes, vessel. He goes, um, fix me. Fix me, make me whole. That was it. Come on. What are you saying? Then? Go on. You can... Well, I already have. Uh, and then <laughs> it says, fix me, make me whole. And then I... Um, and, and then, then there's all the bugs like you say. They're all everywhere. And you see one flick onto the camera. Well, a couple, there's a few on there. So it starts to obscure what you can see. And he's like leaning over with his mouth dead wide. Yes. To accept the... whatever's coming oh, out of his, his face tunnel. Eric's face tunnel. And um, and then uh, like a bit of offal with an eye on it comes out. I thought it might be Jumps in his will. I well, just thought it was a lump of summer. Because I thought it was like a viscous, shitty. It was like it would look like a pink turd with an eye on it. But it like, but you can't see it very well because, which is okay. I'm fine with that because it would have looked fucking shit, <laughs> literally. Because there's loads of bugs now, like cloudy. And the only little bit you can see is this pink thing in the distance going yes. slowly into his you mouth. C- you can't quite make it out, but I suppose that's a good idea. And, 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 see, I thought that because it was so fucking weird. That something's coming out of a bloke's face hole into that's a pink slimy turd with an eye slowly going into a bloke that's got his mouth open yeah. above him in on in a bed. And now I that, didn't expect that's that. A, that's a I wasn't expecting <laughs> that. Um, the end. And that's credits yeah. roll. Yeah. Head and scratch. It, but it obscures it. Then, like I say, a bug just goes over the last bit, so you don't see it go into his gob. Oh, and then it ends. And then it ends. So I'm going to try and summarise the whole film in a minute, but. The bit I quite liked about it, I'll tell you what I liked is... Mary. No, well, the, the, obviously Mary playing Paul, but the when the credits were rolling at the end, it had that video tunnel. of the tunnel, and I I thought, this has ended quite yourself? abruptly. Well, no, I, in a way, because I thought, this has ended quite abruptly, and I thought it might be like a fucking Avengers film, and there might be some kind of... Did bit you pass the forward? End. No, I sat and watched it. I was like watching it like oh. Carrie... Yeah. Sat staring at because I was watching it on my laptop as well, so I sat with my face against the laptop watching it exactly the did same. Did you have way. headphones in? Uh, I did, yeah. So the was, sound on this, I thought, was the third best thing about it. So, but I thought that was quite good sound design. It was a drone. Maybe again, you know what I mean? It's just go, Ooh, yeah, and you go, fucking hell, I'm kind of done with this. But the ending, I like abrupt endings. To be quite honest, I don't expected endings. And also, I was done anyway by then. I thought, yeah, I didn't want any more. 
I did think that can't be the end, but fair enough. I, I, I did, I quickly, as I often have to do, I quickly did a bit of a kind of Google to try and find out if it kind of explained the film a bit. It mentioned about oh. a Gnostic ritual believes in using bodies as vehicles to bridge worlds between physical and spiritual realms. That's not going to make the film any better. Wounds, a poem. A shadow, an echo, an alien place. See futility through the hole in racist space. Darkness envelops. Our existence is nothing but fleshy human coding. Kids, are oh, they're not the problem. Hope defiled. Innocence reviled. Something else. Restyled. Wounds filed. Under average. I give it six. And you can shove that up your bum. Mm. Mm. The, like, the big thing I put, after I've given it my rating, which we can go into, I've, gen I've just put generally too slow and just uninteresting in between the good bits I like. I could have been watching. I could have not been watching a horror film. I could have just watched the bloke go about his day. He was a bit of a pisser. I think if you, how good a film is. If you ask me about this film in a year's time, all I'll be able to tell you is, "Hole in face and Mary." <laughs> I think that says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to be really quick with my right. review on this. Right. I'm going to give it about five and a half because I thought there was the odd bit that was all right, but the rest of it, no, I, I think very, very forgettable. I thought. Yeah, no, I, I, like I say, I think it's very forgettable, apart from, I will go on about the video, I was surprised that was in this film, and I'll tell you why it gets, it makes it a bit better, so I'll explain, mine gets about five and a half, and what one and a half is That's purely nice. on that video. <laughs> Well, I put, I put three. Without the video, I put, I put, I put, I put, I put Well, I put three be, uh, out, out of five, five. Because I forgot we were doing it. You, out you forgot the uh, basic <laughs> and shit rating system, didn't you? But, uh, no, but what? It reminded so it me a bit. And I thought something like that well, was going to happen. The reason why I I was expecting it to get a bit David Cronenberg, a bit more like body, yeah. like he'd put his hand in his armpit bit. I thought it'd be a bit more body morphing. Body moving. <laughs> no, I, I thought it might be a bit more kind of like that, and it never quite got to that. No, it kind of just he had a. I it thought his I thought his face was gonna. Can you imagine though if that video bit hadn't been in, it would have been a fucking struggle to get all the way to the bastard. Yeah, I end, think I think it? it comes kind of out of nowhere, but I don't mind that. At least it 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 made you a bit on edge because you thought, what the fuck is going off here? Yeah. So. Uh, what would we say if someone was about to watch your Netflix? Would you say don't watch it at well, all? Well, if you've got Netflix, you watch it. I mean, if you watch it, and, and you because people need to form their own opinion of it, but... Or maybe not then. I don't watch it if you're pissed out your head. What if you work I'm in a bar? Work, what if you work yeah. in a bar? It, it, uh, it wasn't very good. Yeah. And that was Again, Wounds. That was Wounds. Uh, if anyone's got an opinion that differs out, you're wrong. Yeah, and actually, <laughs> if anybody wants to... Explain the film a little more clearly to two. If anyone's pairs, read the book, feel free. Well, oh, I, yeah. Actually, I I would be interested in that because I'd like to know. Better rated. So, I'd like to know how closely it sticks to that. Yeah, yeah. I think but what we might need to do is watch Under the Shadows because that's got. I just looked and it's got like ninety percent. I hear a lot of good things about that. I know it sounds a bit worthy because it's about bombs in Iran. Yeah, it's, uh, it's about, about a woman Iranian. who. Yeah, I've kind of, I've I've read a little bit about so it. So it might be. It's been recommended to me by a couple of people, so... Okay. All right. Um, that's it. Bye. That's it. Bye. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Thank you very much for listening. Bye. Bye. Right.